had little concern for the grades on my high school report card. How could learning the themes of Macbeth or the slope of a graph possibly help me make millions? Wish I would have known that the answer is quite a lot. It's not always the specific knowledge that you learn in school which is important. It's the skills that you build like focus, discipline, and the ability to learn which translate to every aspect of life. School requires you to perform across multiple subjects and life requires you to succeed in several domains, which is why we need a report card to evaluate ourselves on everything that matters. High school might be over, but my gym teacher evolved into a retired Navy SEAL commander and serial entrepreneur, Jocko Willink. Jocko's new book, The Code, The Evaluation, The Protocols, provides you with a report card for life. I want to know how well I'm performing on my path to my goals, so today I'm implementing Jocko's evaluation. The evaluation has six different categories, each of which have two to four attributes, 18 total, scored on a scale from zero to five. Just knowing that I'm going to have to evaluate myself at the end of the day is already motivating me to get to work. So it's 9 a.m. on a Sunday and I already feel five hours behind the eight ball. Time to get after it. First task of the day, done. Moving on to the second. The fact that I know that I have an evaluation at the end of the day is really motivating me to work faster than I normally would rather than taking time to try to make things perfect. I'm just flying through it and I don't know that that is having any negative impact on my performance. If anything, I might be helping it. So task number two, three minutes. Do it. Three tasks done for the day. I think normally I would just be taking a little bit of a break here to eat, but since I know that there's an evaluation at the end of the day, I am motivated to keep going on to my fourth task, which is to edit the script that I just finished writing. So we're gonna get to that before maybe eating if I have time to heat something up, because that's gonna be the only way that I have time to fit in everything I need to do today. I'm gonna be even more productive. I'm gonna take this food, bring it over to my desk, and work while I eat. Let's get efficient. For the last two or three Sundays, I spent eight straight hours writing a video script, whereas today I thought I have 18 different dimensions that I need to evaluate myself on. No time to spend eight hours on one of those things. I have to use that time more effectively, and I think it might be working, but that's gonna be for you to judge when you see this. I know that I said I had to get a lot of work done today, but I'm going to meet with a friend right now. We're currently seven weeks into quarantine, and I haven't had any physical interaction. Let's see if I can get some energy from this social interaction. It's kind of interesting to think about socializing as work, but... It's kind of what it's become. So Brett here, say hi Brett. Hey guys. This guy grew up four doors down the street from me. Then we independently moved to Toronto five years ago at the exact same time and moved to two completely different streets, two completely different addresses. And somehow those two buildings ended up directly next door to each other. What are the chances of that, huh? Does that mean that we're soulmates? Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, you can't touch Where? It's quarantine, no I'm touching. wearing my pink shirt. Hi Brett. I don't think that the government's called it into the quarantine, but I think the summer has. Back from the social time and ready to spend a couple more hours working right now. I think that really rejuvenated my batteries and I'm really happy that I'm doing this evaluation today because if I wasn't, I don't think that I would have actually taken the time to go out and meet up with my friend because I would have just thought, I have too much work to do. I'm gonna focus on that instead. It's about 5 p.m. and I finished my most critical tasks for the day. It's interesting how effectively you can utilize your time when you know that you're so constrained. The fact that it's 5 p.m. and I still have some daylight left made me think that I should probably look at this evaluation and see what's actually in there so I can make use of the remaining hours that I have in this day to get better scores in the other dimensions. There's a lot of different categories here and I think so far maybe I've achieved scores in two of them. So I'm gonna have to actually look into what these all mean. I think it's all in the book somewhere. So let's just pull this up. Intellectual fitness, let's see what that means. You need to exercise your brain and make it more capable by reading, writing, studying, and learning new things. You need to develop in areas that you don't always fit into your normal routines. Even if your job responsibilities don't demand it, cultivate something artistic like music, writing, or singing. Okay, I think that I'm doing that right now, so I think I'll give myself a two on this one. So it's good to know that there is a category in here for quality time with friends, and I did spend some quality time with my friends today. Score one, spent time with important friends, but was distracted and engaged in a limited way. Did not offer full attention or engagement. I think that recording him without his consent might mean that I was somewhat distracted. Hey man. Yo, we're not supposed to touch man, it's social distancing. But hey, I had to improve my intellectual fitness for the day and my professional development, so gotta make some sacrifices. Spend quality time with family. Well, I did a live stream and my dad asked me a question. Is that quality time? So I wanna get that score up a little bit. Let's try giving my parents a call. Are you on FaceTime? I'm calling you on FaceTime audio. Did you kind of me to figure out stuff like this? 
Well, no, I just have to give you a call because I'm making a video right now and it's about this evaluation that I'm going to be performing on myself. It's a report card that evaluates you across 18 different categories. And one of those categories is having a conversation with your family. So I thought I would have to give you a call to do that. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad. Yeah. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Oh, that's it? Bye. Love you. They spent quality time with me, so i give myself a one. I'm just gonna read through the rest of these, pick a couple of these attributes where I think today I can increase my score and then spend the rest of the day performing the tasks to get that score higher. Preparedness and safety. That is something that I have never spent time on. First category there is martial arts and self-defense. Martial arts training might be a little bit hard when all the businesses are closed due to this quarantine, but maybe I can find something online. I want you to take your hands, lift them up like this, roll your fingers in and lock your thumb right on top. We're gonna take your arm and you're gonna block across your body here and across your body here. Those hands, make a tight fist, pull it back into home position right here, nice and tight, and practice pushing your hand out. Now put it all together. Snap it out and back down. One more time, lift it up, snap it out, back down. Let's check off. Kick with the same leg, hop, and snap it out. Good chamber and set back to your stance again. Whoa, jump and kick, boom! I had martial arts for one summer, 15 or more years ago. And I don't really think that this stuff is going to be that effective, but I have to do better than a one. Yo, you don't mess with me. I don't think that these strategies are all too effective for defending yourself. This might have earned me a one. Getting a one sounds terrible, but it's much better than getting a zero, right? Weapons training. Training with legal weapons in your home and in public that contribute to safety for your community and the people around you. Score zero, did not weapons train. Missed opportunities to study, observe, or train with weapons. I can't be going around getting zeros. I'm gonna do some weapons training. I'm gonna need to acquire some weapons. Weapon acquired. All right, time to train. Does this count as weapons training? Various types of weapon training. Achieved. I don't know, Jocko, does that count? Is that a one or a two? Yeah, probably a zero. So the thing with these scores is they're kind of based on a progressive system. If you've never worked out before, going for a long walk might be a five, because that's the most you can possibly do. But if you've been working out for a decade, then going for a walk might be a zero, because that's basically no exercise for you. So even the uh, minimal amount of martial arts training and weapons training that I did, I think it earned me a one for today. But within a week, what I did today would be considered a zero. Sun's gonna be going down soon. I'm gonna go get the best workout I can possibly get given the circumstances that we're under and see what other scores I could bump up. Maybe try to organize some community safety and impact event. The evaluation made yesterday one of the best days I've had since the beginning of quarantine. Instead of focusing all day on working, which is what I've been doing for the last two months, I diversified my tasks and got just about as much done. It made me use my time more effectively, but I'm curious whether I can maintain this pace. Is the additional motivation sustainable or will it be exhausting to evaluate myself across 18 different attributes every day? It might cause more harm than good. Going outside to train my swordsmanship skills in the middle of a pandemic might be good for my weapons training, but my other skills may decay as I'm locked in a prison cell. I know that it won't be possible to score well in every attribute every day, and there are certain attributes where I might get consistent zeros, but I don't wanna be a zero. So scoring myself might be enough to shift my behavior in a positive direction. That's why my mission for next month is to perform the evaluation every day and learn if it can start my transformation into the eminently qualified human. If you want to learn how this affects me, then subscribe to this channel. And if you want to join me on this challenge, then you can find a link to the evaluation as well as Jocko's book in the description below this video. But the evaluation requires enforcement. You need to build the habit of completing it every day. It's not a one-time fix. It's an everyday gig, which is why I recommend starting this with a friend, family member, roommate, anyone who can help hold you accountable. Life is teaching me that the time is never right. So the right time is always now. If you want help implementing this or any other fitness program, then let me know in the comments and I can give you a hand. Thank you all for watching. And there's no more appropriate way for me to sign off on this video than by telling you to get after it.